it's just a, it's just a technique to get people to be quiet and listen and talk really softly. <laughs> All right, so uh, you heard last night something Sensei has always talked about, but Dusty reminded you of it last night, which is light receives light, or as I like to put it, chi in sheep's clothing. <laughs> so if you are to attack a fire meridian, you bring fire energy. Because it looks like a friend, and it's only and too late that it's discovered to not be a friend. Okay? So like receives like. So the rule basically goes like this. By the way, you cannot test this rule now because you've been beating on each other for way too long. But at, at any time you're cold at the beginning of training, you can test this principle. It goes like this. When you begin a technique, like receives like. You need to use the same energy to get in the door. Once you're in the door, you switch to the... Um, cycle of destruction. So, if somebody punches, and I'm hitting them on, a lot, on say, a large intestine point, I am not going to attack the large intestine point with fire energy, even though fire <coughs> cuts metal. I mean, it, it'll work, but there, it doesn't work as well because of the, what is it called again, the weight sheet, the defensive sheet? But when I bring metal energy in there, the defensive sheet is, is not alerted, and so I can enter. But now I'm in. So maybe I'm going from large intestine to the stomach following the diurnal cycle. But I, what I might do is I might start out with a metal stance striking this way and then go into a wood stance to strike stomach. So now I'm using the cycle of destruction against the second. So you can test that in your own dojo. You can't test that today because you've already been beating on each other too much. So instead, we're just going to deal with this thing about life receives life. So you know, um, uh, body. So you know that triple warmer, right? We can tap triple warmer, and then we're going to get a better effect on triple warmer if we are in a fire stand, right? You know this, right? Yeah. Sure. So, <coughs> triple warmer is fire, but what is its polarity? It's yang. Front stance is fire, but what is its polarity? So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm bringing yang fire to yang fire. But isn't that double weighted? How do I follow the principle of like versus <coughs> like while at the same time not being double weighted? But here's the answer. You already know the answer. But it will be incredibly obvious to you once I do it. <laughs> Sensei taught this to me years and years and years, and years, and years ago. He was teaching from a form called Wansu, sometimes called Empty. as a move where you do this. And he said, oh, you know, somebody said, what's that move for when you kneel down and empty? He said, oh, well, that's easy. Somebody grabs you, and you take their hand over here, and you stretch them out like this, and then you're going to take them down, but you drop to your knee to put more pain in. Well, the reason more pain goes in is because I'm in fire, which the meridian accepts, but it's yin, and so it's not double weighted. Also, it helps that I'm dropping, so that that's there too. I, I don't want to I don't want to ignore the fact that I'm dropping, but it's the use of the yin fire stance that makes that work better. There are techniques that will work, but if if, if, if even if they're double weighted, but they work better if you can get rid of that. So that's what you're going to play with here. You're just going to use that. Try tapping triple warmer, using a, a regular front stance. Oh, hey, that works good. And then same thing, just take it, and when you tap it, beyond your, it, your, your mind has to be there before your body, but you're just thinking, yin down. Okay? And don't be crazy. All right. And, and this is, just be nice, because if you look at this, remember about the impaling? See, this stand, this foot here is probably going to impale somewhere, like there, possibly on his own foot. It's not nice. If I switch the other way, if I do the same technique, but I'm using the stance in the other direction as I drop down here. Oh, look, that's his chest coming down to my knee, and that's not nice. Oh, that's not kind. So don't, don't focus on that. Focus on the use of the yin fire stance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> focus on the use of the yin, work. Uh, on the yin fire stance. Uh, but make sure you try it with the yang fire stance. You can see the way in which like receives like, but at the same time, we're not double weight. Okay? Try that. <laughs>